Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about how Firebase analytics are becoming more and more essential. Okay, so today my intention was to answer a question that came in from Thought in Process uh, last Wednesday. Thought in Process asked, should I localize my app for Japan and Korea? Are your apps localized for Japanese and Korean? Yeah, they are. Uh, I have looked and everyone says that those markets purchases in-app purchases the most. So yeah, I think if you could afford it, you should translate into as many languages as you want to, but you probably can't afford to do it into all of them, or at least I can't. So it's better to, to make sure that your base language is, is right before you start translating into other languages and then just choose which countries are downloading your app the most and capitalize on those. So what I had done when I first did the localization, and I know we've talked about localization to death on this channel. I'm sorry about that, but it, it tripled my downloads almost overnight, right? What I had done was I went into the Google Play Console, did a, a query on the top languages for my app, and then I just translated into those first, and then I just kept going down the list. So my intention today was just to show you guys how I did that, but of course on Google Play, they change everything. I can't find the report anymore, right? I, like they, they, they removed recently the top, the total number of downloads, and they seem to be removing a few things in analytics lately, which is strange because usually Google Play will give you more than you need, which is, I've always loved that about Google Play, right? Even if I don't need that now, even if I don't understand what this thing over here does, I know I can use it in the future, but you know, this is something strange. So I have a look at my screen over here. So I, I came over here to my statistics page. So I go to my, my biggest app, uh, Ear Agent, and I go to statistics and I, and I there and I, and I just like, I'll, I'll just do a, uh, I'll do a grouping by country and of course I can't find it anywhere. They either they've removed it or obviously they've removed it or they've put it someplace that is impossible to find and I can't find it anymore. So it's and that's useful data. So luckily we have Firebase Analytics installed so we can go in and look at that. And I think Firebase Analytics is becoming more and more important as you go. So I could go into my dashboard of Firebase Analytics and I could have a look down here at my demographics and I can see the top uh, countries and regions that we have. Right now for me, and it has been, it has been pretty much, the US for me has been the top country since the beginning. And the second one has been, right now it's been India for, for quite a while. Thailand is third. It's just, you know, so we, we did have it translated into Thai and Spanish and, and all these languages. For, for a while it was Brazil. For a while Brazil was like, almost 70, no, it was about 40% about of my downloads at one point, and, um, and that's changed. But it's getting to the point now where if you don't have Firebase Analytics installed in your application, because most of the time you just have to include the library and you get all these statistics here and you can start getting really clever with it where you're thinking, if somebody clicks here, I want to trigger an event, if somebody clicks there, and you can start analyzing that data. But it is something that it's, Whereas before it was kind of like an, an optional thing. Yeah, put some analytics in your app. Now it's, 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 it's just, it's, it's vital. A lot of you guys have been asking me recently about the changes to the Google Play Console. Like you can't report on certain things anymore. And I've, I've noticed that and it's just, I, do, I don't really understand it. I don't know if they're trying to push everybody into Firebase or some other analytic tool. Firebase, they, they want you to go to Firebase or Google Analytics. But if you're not using it, you should be, and that's you. Before you know whether which languages you want to localize into thought and process, you should know who's downloading your application and where they're coming from, and also make sure that if your marketing sucks on your base language, so if your language, if your app is in English and people aren't downloading it, then you should probably make sure that you get that conversion rate up before you spend all the money to localize it into other languages anyway. So hopefully that's helpful today. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think because you guys might disagree with me. Are you using Firebase Analytics and uh, how do you find it? Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.